Far be it from us to blow our own horns, but I mean, the best Star Trek documentaries out there are already here on Trek Culture's YouTube channel, and there shall be links in the description to this video, but in the interest of fairness, I'm Sean Ferrick for Trek Culture, and here are the 10 best Star Trek documentaries. 10. 50 Years of Star Trek. This documentary aired on the History Channel in 2016, before being released on DVD later that year. While it's a warm look at Star Trek's earlier years, it falls a little short of offering a full retrospective on the franchise. Added to this, while there are plenty of welcome contributors, the respective captains are conspicuously missing. Shatner, for one, is talked about a lot, though does not appear. An older interview with Leonard Nimoy seems to have been added in to fill the Kirk-sized gap. Jerry Ryan, however, is one of the better talking heads in the piece, with DC Fontana also getting a chance to shine. Though this documentary skews closer to the original series of The Next Generation in terms of the ground it covers, it feels right that on the 50th anniversary, the origins of Star Trek are the focus. Having said that, while there's plenty of talk about Gene Roddenberry, there is next to nothing about Gene L. Kuhn, the producer who was heavily involved in getting the Enterprise up into space. Overall, the documentary is well worth a watch, if a little thin on material. 9. Trekkies 2 as with its predecessor, Trekkies 2 is an endearing look at the Star Trek fandom as it exists across the world. This sequel to the 1997 original widens its scope a little, taking in fans from the UK, Australia and Germany, among many others. These are unabashed fans following host Denise Crosby's lead as they discuss their fondest memories from the franchise. However, it must be said, this is a film purely for fans of Star Trek. It is less a description of what makes a fandom as it is a collection of personal stories and follow-ons from the original. While both films together make for a fine pairing, this one struggles to stand on its own two feet. There are interviews with returning fans, particularly those who faced ridicule after the original's release. Like the first film, this faces the derogatory way in which Trekkies are often viewed and flips this on its head, depicting a group of people who are totally at ease with the way that they express their fandoms. Though some scenes are a little jarring, the film treats its subjects with care and respect. It is slightly dated at this stage, featuring a lot of plugs for Enterprise while it was airing, though this is easily forgivable to see the passion of these fans share for Star Trek as a whole. 8. Journey's End – The Saga of Star Trek The Next Generation Journey's End, the saga of Star Trek The Next Generation, was a special that aired around the release of All Good Things, the final episode of the series. It was simultaneously a making of the last episode, while also serving as a fond look at the series as a whole. Hosted by Jonathan Frakes, it featured interviews with all of the stars of the show along with several of the guests. The documentary is purely for the fans, existing as a love letter to the next generation, while also teasing the then upcoming release of Star Trek Generations. Questionable 90s fashion choices aside, it is a fun look at what life on set was actually like. Frakes also answers one of the most infamous questions in all of Star Trek, where exactly is the bathroom on the Enterprise? Now, he may be a little unspecific about where it actually is, yet it sure is there, somewhere. This documentary is best watched ahead of a rewatch of All Good Things, as it's a little specific to enjoy as a general Next Generation special. It is one that is aimed just for the laughs rather than the reveals. 7. Star Trek 25th Anniversary Special This special aired around the Star Trek Viewer's Choice Marathon in 1991, celebrating the 25th birthday of the franchise. William Shatner and Leonard Nimoy hosted, featuring interviews with Walter Koenig, James Dew and DeForest Kelly, Gene Roddenberry, George Takai, Nichelle Nichols and Ricardo Montalban, among others. This special exists somewhere between a curio and a genuinely warm tribute to the franchise. While it has of course dated, it is a slice of Star Trek history outlined by those who saw it firsthand. It also featured tributes to Roddenberry who, though featured as an interviewee here, died during production. In fact, it is one of the better documentaries to feature all of the original main cast of Star Trek, including the creator of the show itself. It is of course fascinating to see Ricardo Montalban featured as well, less than 10 years after the release of The Wrath of Khan. There are behind the scenes images of Star Trek's 4 and 6, and perhaps most enjoyable for the nerds among us all, LeVar Burton gives viewers a special tour of NASA's space camp. Six. Trekkies. The 1997 film that explores the Trek fandom is a must-see for anyone attempting to understand how varied the people who follow Star Trek are. While there are some fans interviewed who may be seen as somewhat extreme, the sense of community and care that radiates from the film is hard to miss. 
Trekkies is now famous for several reasons. Gabriel Kerner shot to many fame with his incredibly sincere Trek engagement, something that resulted in him receiving a fair amount of internet backlash. The film also features Barbara Adams, the Whitewater scandal juror who attended court in her Star Trek uniform, along with a tour of Starbase Dental, the first Star Trek themed dental surgery. Interspersed with these clips are interviews with the actors themselves, including an incredibly moving story told by James Doohan. He recalled a suicidal fan who sent him a letter to which he replied and invited her to the next convention he was attending. This continued until she fell silent for a few years, only to reappear having just attained her qualifications as an engineer, not a dry eye in the house. Trekkies is, at its best, a fascinating look at the people who make franchises successful, while at its worst sets the bar for what to expect at a convention. Regardless of how passionate one is about the franchise itself, Trekkies is a must-watch movie about a has-to-be-seen-to-be-believed fanbase. 5. Trek Nation Trek Nation is an in-depth documentary that serves more as an exploration of Rod Roddenberry and his father than about the franchise itself. However, it is a fascinating dive into the toll that Star Trek took on the family, featuring fresh interviews with key figures throughout. One of the most frustrating yet interesting discussions occurs between Rod and his mother, Majel Barrett. She is cagey about the questions he asks about his father, which seems to be emblematic of the relationship that the family endured all those years. Added to this is a sit-down interview that Rod shares with Will Wheaton, who, in Rod's eyes, effectively took his place as Gene's son. The documentary also features a must-see interview with George Lucas, who is of course to Star Wars what Roddenberry was to Star Trek. Hearing his thoughts provides a key insight into the supposed rivalry that ran between the two franchises for so many years, with Lucas dishing high praise on Trek as a whole. This is a documentary that focuses more closely on the person of Roddenberry than the franchise he created, though that alone makes it essential viewing for fans. 4. Chaos on the Bridge Chaos on the Bridge is another Shatner-led documentary, though this one focuses on the first and second seasons of Star Trek The Next Generation. The first live-action spin-off to the original series had a tumultuous maiden voyage, which remained an intense, often highly stressful battle just to get through those seasons. Contributors include Rick Berman, Morris Hurley, Patrick Stewart, Gates McFadden, and Diana Muldaur, all of whom are surprisingly frank in their experiences during that time. Patrick Stewart describes the loss of Denise Crosby from the show as a complete failure, while several of them relate stories of Leonard Maislish, Gene Roddenberry's lawyer, who was frequently found editing scripts without permission. Diana Maldar is a particularly fascinating interviewee, discussing her reasons for not returning to Star Trek The Next Generation's third season. She had appeared with Shatner twice in the original series, so her thoughts comparing the two shows are deeply revealing. This is perhaps one of the more sensational documentaries to be released about Star Trek, making for highly entertaining viewing and a truly engaging experience. 3. The Captains the Captains is an excellent mini-series that was created by William Shatner, featuring Chris Pine, Patrick Stewart, Avery Brooks, Kate Mulgrew and Scott Bakula. Filmed before Star Trek Discovery had even been conceived, it focuses on the franchise to that point, going in-depth with each main actor to pick apart what their respective Star Trek experiences were like. Patrick Stewart's assertion that were he to be remembered forever as Captain Picard seems more prescient than ever as the second season of Picard approaches, while Kate Mulgrew reminds Shatner that at the end of the day, Voyager was initially just a job that she took on. Though it would grow to become so much more, she recounts rough days of 18-hour shifts, struggling to find enough time even to use the bathroom. There was a special interview with the late Christopher Plummer, with whom Shatner starred in Star Trek VI The Undiscovered Country, though it is perhaps the interview with Brooks that makes the entire project worthwhile. As Brooks himself turned down the opportunity to appear in the Deep Space Nine anniversary documentary, this earlier film is perhaps the most detailed account of his feelings on the franchise to date. While the series does suffer from a sheen of vanity on the part of the interviewer, The Captains is perhaps one of the most revealing engagements with each Star Trek captain ever committed to film. 2. What We Left Behind what We Left Behind could easily have taken the top spot on this list, not simply for the love and care that radiates from every single second of the production, but also for the high quality presentation on offer. For fans of Star Trek Deep Space Nine, there really is no better resource than this film to explore the impact of Star Trek's best spin-off series. Almost every main cast member, barring Avery Brooks, returned to film material for this anniversary special, spoiling fans with their stories and recollections of their time on the show. Terry Farrell in particular is both blunt and 
open about the circumstances that led to her departure, with Iris Stephen Bear addressing it also. It was thankfully made before both Aaron Eisenberg and René Auberjonois passed away, meaning that this film is not just a celebration of Deep Space Nine, but also serves as a warm and lasting tribute to both men. The team behind What We Left Behind are currently hard at work on To The Journey, looking back at Star Trek Voyager, a similar documentary about the latter series. If this film is anything to go by, Trek fans are in for a truly special experience. 1. For the love of Spock The ultimate documentary about anything related to Star Trek, For the Love of Spock is the deeply moving, profoundly personal documentary about Leonard Nimoy, curated by his son, Adam. The idea began as a special that was designed to celebrate the original series of Star Trek as it neared its 50th anniversary, before morphing into the tribute to Nimoy that it became. There are interviews with Star Trek actors old and new, from Shatner to Carl Urban, Walter Koenig to Zoe Saldana, and George Takei to Zachary Quinto. It is, however, the moments that linger on Adam Nimoy, his sister Julie, and their families that truly strike chords with this documentary. Leonard Nimoy, the man, is easily as fascinating as his on-screen alter ego ever was. For the love of Spock is perhaps the perfect documentary about any one member of the Star Trek family. The impact that Nimoy had on the franchise is nothing short of stellar, perhaps outstripping that of any other single person in the franchise. This documentary pays tribute not just to the role he played in the fandom, but also in the lives of those who knew him best as well. And that's it for our list today. If you reckon we've missed any crucial documentaries in Star Trek's history, please drop them into the comments below. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Remember that you can catch us over on Twitter at Trek Culture and you can catch myself at Sean Ferrick as well. In the very much the spirit of the final documentary on this list, live long and prosper.